Welcome to the 8th video in the series MVMAT Unfolded, a complete guide to the MVMAT software. In this video, we will cover the second part of the Pollution and Sources feature, which includes the Traffic Tools editing window. We will start where we left off in part 1, with the Database Manager open, our project selected, and our user copy of the test line source profile selected. As stated in the previous video, the emission source profile for each of the possible pollutants must be edited from this window by editing each pollution parameter individually. However, if we do not have specific and reliable information for these parameters, we can generate accurate and precise pollution data by clicking on the Traffic Tools button and entering more commonly known information for NVMet to generate the pollution profile for us. With the Traffic Tools window open, we can see all of the information regarding our pollution profile, which in this case is a road with traffic. The right side of the window shows us the hourly emission profile containing the amounts of various particles being diffused into the local atmosphere at every hour of the day. This is the display of the editable parameter profiles we could have edited in the previous window. The left side of the window contains options to adapt the emission profiles according to traffic data. The top area of the window contains parameters regarding the distribution of traffic flow. The first parameter listed at the top is the type of street segment that is being simulated with our emission profile. Envimat includes three traffic distribution models based on different types of roads and the average amount of usage per time of day a road of that type would typically receive. The next parameter, daily traffic value or DTV, allows us to set the total number of vehicles per day that use the road segment we are simulating. This number is then divided into the traffic distribution model we have chosen, with the total number of vehicles using the road each hour of the day displayed to the right. Don't forget to click the button Update Distribution after changing the DTV. The number of lanes in this street segment parameter relates to the total number of lanes in both directions of the given street. The next area of the window refers to traffic composition. This refers to the different types of vehicles that are using our specific segment of road. We can see a variety of different types of vehicles listed here. Next to each vehicle type, its percentage share of the traffic mix is displayed. Since passenger cars typically make up the largest percentage of total traffic on a road, the passenger cars value constitutes the remaining amount of total traffic after the data for the other vehicle types has been entered. Make sure to click the Update button after editing these values. The Basic Emission Factors area of the window allows us to enter specific pollution data corresponding to a specific vehicle type. For example, as we can see here, under Passenger Cars, some pollution values already exist based on average data NVMet already provides. All of these cells are editable and we can change this information based on any real data we may have. The two buttons next to the table called Generate NO slash NO2 data and Set PM2.5 Fraction allow us to average data we may not have access to. Many times it is much easier to acquire NOx data rather than more specific information. By clicking the Generate NO slash NO2 data button, we can enter a percentage value that will divide the NOx value into NO and NO2. The same idea applies to the Set PM2.5 Fraction button, as we can set a percentage of the PM10 emission value that is more precisely known to the PM2.5 emissions. Once we have made all of our changes on this side of the window and have clicked all of the appropriate update buttons, we can click on the Calculate Emission Profile button. And we met then generates our source profile values based on the information we have entered on the left side of the screen. The Export Data button allows us to export our complete source profile as an Excel spreadsheet. The Remark area is just for adding extra comments to this particular source profile. The Copy Traffic Data to Remark button copies all of the source profile data into the Remark area. Once we are satisfied with our values, we can click OK. We have now created our very own Traffic Pollution Source Profile that can be included into our simulation. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one, where we will begin explaining the program Albero, in which we can create and design our own 3D vegetation.